and welcome back to my channel. This is the second part of a four part series in total um, all about my recent trip around America. So part one was in Washington DC and today's is going to be in Indianapolis in Indiana. All of these videos are part of a sponsored promotional trip with the US Embassy. Um, they have no control over this video, over what I'm posting or what I'm saying, um, as you can probably see in the last video. But I just wanted to tell you guys that kind of in the interest of full disclosure. If you want more information about that, I chatted about it a little bit more in the first part. And if you've watched that and you still have questions, feel free to pop them in the comments and I'll happily answer those for you. I had no idea of what to expect from Indiana. Washington DC, I think I'd seen a lot more of it in sort of films and TV shows and I just sort of heard it talked about a lot more. So I kind of had a preconceived notion of what Washington DC was gonna be like. And in some ways it met that, in some ways it was very different. Um, but with Indiana, I kind of didn't even have that framework. We were there to explore the themes presented in the TV show Parks and Recreation. I had watched a couple of episodes prior to going on this trip, but only since knowing that I was going on this trip, if you see what I mean. So we were met at the airport by this kind of unnecessarily bougie like tour bus and it took us straight to public greens which was probably my favorite restaurant that we went to when we were in america it was amazing the food was so fresh and they also have a charity initiative to feed children after school who might not otherwise have access to food next up we went to the ncaa can somebody who knows more about this explain to my vlog what's going on so this is the national college athletic association so college football college basketball everything like that's a big day here so this is like the governing body so if anybody watched the blind side which i have done yeah. several times <laughs> you see that sandra bullock and the boy whose name i cannot no longer recall have to go to this office <laughs> for a meeting yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we've had a meeting about gender diversity within collegiate sports in the US, the measures that are put in place to ensure gender diversity and gender equality um, within collegiate sports. This was a really interesting meeting. It was brilliant to hear people speaking so passionately about equality across all gender identities, um, and that was brilliant. However, kind of throughout the meeting, it became quite apparent that while these codes and kind of guidelines are put in place, they actually kind of have no way to enforce them. Like the colleges or the universities um, kind of make up their own rules. So that was quite frustrating, but overall it was a positive meeting and it was interesting to hear those discussions because they're kind of not discussions that I would often be party two. Next up we went through the Hall of Champions which is kind of the NCAA's like tourist attraction and um, we also got to play some basketball well like put, try and get the balls in the hoops. I scored a goal. Is it cool scored a goal? Basketball? Another state, another hotel room. I just want to show you this because I like watching them because I'm really nosy. But this is like a little apartment. This is the door, this is where you come in. We've got the fridge, the kitchen area. There's a little bathroom in here that I haven't actually looked in yet. And then through here, there's a lovely sofa, massive desk area, a gigantic TV, which we're gonna watch Parks and Rec on later because that's why we're in Indiana, um, sort of to explore the theme of Parks and Recreation. Another giant bed. I'm a big fan of an American bed. Not so much of a lovely view in this one, but we can have a good look at the car park, um, which is fine when you're as nosy as me. So that evening, we were all separated and sent for dinner in an American host family's home, um, which was a really kind of daunting idea. I'm the special one to eat of her, but one of the American stereotypes of British people. Is it going to have bad dental hygiene? So now I'm paranoid. <laughs> it was so daunting to not know kind of who it was going to be or what we were going to eat and what we were going to talk about and the fact that you're in their space. Um, it was quite, I was really worried about it, but actually when I got there, it was a girl called Leisha and her cat um, and she was lovely and around my age, maybe not, not much older than me. Um, and yeah, we kind of had some really interesting chats about life and about um, kind of the differences for her life and my life, cultural differences and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it was really great to talk to her and 
it, it was it was a really interesting experience yeah I would never have had that kind of experience if I hadn't gone on this trip it was interesting because I then found out that in Indianapolis it's that kind of like hosting someone who you've never met for dinner is not I'm not saying every every family does it but it just didn't seem to be that rare um which I thought was really interesting because we don't really have that kind of culture here Maybe I'm wrong, but I've never come across it. The next morning, we visited a family-run farm to learn more about that industry and how it's changed within the last few years. I feel like I'm very high up. Quite worried. You know what? I'm just going to get down. I don't know what the thought was going to I don't think I might Let's hold it. No, coming down. Don't like it. Amy, not in her natural habitat, <laughs> safe to say. <laughs> We have just arrived at a baseball game, just behind me there, don't know how much you can see, um, but this is the Indianapolis, or the Indiana Indians, um, Indianapolis Indians, I, as you can tell, I know so much about baseball, I read the briefing. Cleona knows everything, yeah, you read the briefing, I just turn up downstairs at the time I'm cold and I'm like, so where are we going guys? <laughs> um, but here it is, in action. The baseball game felt really surreal because I just didn't realise it existed. Like, I knew that baseball existed, but that kind of like the stadium atmosphere and all the families wearing the logos and the like the music that they played, the like duh, 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 duh music. And yeah, it was so interesting. There were also a few kids playing on this sort of little bit of grass by the field. And a couple of times the baseball players would get one of the baseballs and throw it over to the kids when they're done with it, which I thought was really cute. And that was something about Indiana that I'd picked up on by this point and was really starting to notice as like a common thread was that kind of um, family orientated sort of community feel, which I really liked. Also, while I was watching the baseball game, I was like, I've never seen anybody play baseball before, this is really interesting. And then, when I watched somebody pitch the ball, I think it's called like throw it, I got this really weird like flashback and like a really strong feeling that I'd seen it before kind of like deja vu and it was bothering me for ages and I was like what is it where have I seen it before and then I realized <laughs> So never mind. So on our last full day in Indiana, we went out to a little town called Fishers. It was amazing. It was so family orientated. Like we met um, the people who are in charge of their parks and recreation. They put on free concerts and events and food markets and um, all sorts. Like it just sounded like it was such a great place to live. We kind of had this joke in amongst our group that we were all going to raise our kids in Fishers. Lovely lady has just opened her ice cream shop specifically for us to. I was going to say take photos with, but that's not the aim here, is it? Specifically to eat the ice cream slash take photos with. I've got something hot and candy and also a birthday cake. So, never tried any of those flavors before, but here we are. Over and out. <laughs> <laughs> Should we cheers with our ice creams? I'm not really It was like a really interesting kind of like quintessential American family kind of vibe. Um, it was fascinating. And it really reminded me of like, maybe I shouldn't say this. You know how sometimes in like American TV shows and dramas and things like that, whenever somebody gets murdered or something bad happens, everybody's like, I don't understand how this happened in my tiny community. And I'm always a bit like, well, it can happen anywhere. But when we were there, I really understood how people feel that way and how people like trust in their community and their surroundings. And that's something that I've never really got from England. Um, but there just seemed to be so much more togetherness, which I thought was really interesting. And then later that day, we went and met the real life Leslie Nope um, with Indie Parks and Rec. And we learned about all their different outdoor spaces and everything that they're doing. So they have like art exhibitions and outdoor events and family events and all that sort of stuff throughout the year. And it was so interesting. Like I said, it's all about community. I just jumped out of my skin because I honest to God thought that that was a real turtle. Oh no. <laughs> And 
and they taught us a little bit about the history of the spaces. Uh, they would bring in bears and lions and tigers um, and all kinds of different animals for people to like see up close. Kind of crazy. Like I think the one thing that really struck me about Indianapolis was that everybody in Indianapolis seemed to be so passionate about Indianapolis and about its future. Overall, I had a really good vibe from Indianapolis. I really liked it there. Um, it felt very safe, which kind of wasn't what I was expecting with all the gun laws and things like that. And interestingly, actually, the whole time that we were there, um, I didn't speak to a single person who openly supported Donald Trump, um, which I thought was quite interesting because that's not really what I expected. So that's it, I think, for Indianapolis. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Oh my God. Thank you for watching this video, I hope that you've enjoyed it. Next week we'll be moving on to Albuquerque, the home of High School Musical, which is not why we went there. <laughs> um, we went to explore the themes from Breaking Bad. I would love it if you would hit thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've ever been to Indiana. Oh, I'm popular today. And if you've never been to Indiana, I would love to hear what you've learned about it from this video. Or if you can think of any other films or TV shows that are set in Indiana. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in a few days. Thank you.